Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. I have something special for you diesel truck aficionados. Uh, this amazing uh, 2020 uh, GMC Sierra Duramax 3500 AT4. Uh, the AT4 is a newer package uh, for the Sierra Duramax. It came when it was redesigned. Uh, the Duramax HD Sierra was redesigned for the 2020 model year, making this a great uh, upgrade versus the previous generation of the Duramax. Definitely more capable, can tow more, haul more, has more power, uh, newer safety features, newer technology, one awesome truck. We had to actually uh, uh, transport one of our QX80 full-size luxury SUVs uh, to Eastern Washington for uh, a customer and uh, we use this to pull it with our car hauler and that was I think over 8,000 pounds uh, with the car hauler. The car hauler was about 2,000 pounds, maybe even more. I think the QX80 is about 6,000 pounds. It's a full-size body and frame SUV, not a light truck. Uh, this thing pulled it over the past like nothing. Uh, you know, our, the person who uh, transported it, he said it felt like it, it was almost nothing behind it. So uh, if you're looking to do some serious towing, this is definitely capable. Uh, the Duramax was upgraded, uh, 445 horsepower, 910 pound-feet of torque, and that is connected to a 10-speed Allison transmission. The previous Duramaxes had a 6-speed uh, Allison, so those 10 Ford gears make it a little bit more fuel efficient, and you have a little bit more uh, selection of gears for those towing, situation, towing situations. Uh, the AT4 is an off-road version of uh, the Sierra. Uh, I guess a lot of truck customers were asking for a uh, version like this so instead of having all the chrome like the Denali it has uh, you know body colored panels um, it has a off-road suspension Rancho shocks uh, off-road tires a little bit more of a off-road oriented version of the Sierra uh, looks wise and capability wise love this uh, two-tone interior so the AT4 sits uh, right down below the Denali the Denali is a range topping trim level so the AT4 is one step below um, and if you do want to do some comparison right now, we actually do have a, a 2016 Denali 2500 diesel. So you can compare both models and see what you think. I'll start it kind of shortly. It's rainy outside, so I'm doing some videos inside. So I don't want to kill myself, but I'll run this a little bit. We do have some decent ventilation in our, uh, our uh, service drive, but I don't want to push it too much. Um, beautiful interior. Great navigation system. This features some amazing uh, technology, uh, making towing and hauling and using this thing for truck things a lot easier. Uh, we have this amazing uh, backup camera, or not just a backup camera, there's uh, multiple views. There's also a trailer tow view, but I don't know how to activate that. Uh, maybe you have to have a trailer hooked up for it to get that to, to work. But really cool stuff. There's a bed view. Uh, then you have a view right there of your uh, trailer hitch so you can back it very close to the trailer. That's amazing stuff. All right, uh, heated and ventilated front seats. Of course, we have an uh, exhaust brake. Uh, we have a power fold-down bed. Uh, you know, uh, not power fold-down bed, power fold-down tailgate. Uh, terrain management system. Uh, Push-button selectable uh, four-wheel drive. Heated steering wheel. Um, yeah, and this one has 5,476 miles at the time of making this video, just getting broken in for a diesel. Uh, this is actually a trade-in for a brand new Tesla. We purchased this from Tesla. Tesla really only sells uh, used Tesla, so any off-brand stuff they have, they wholesale it to dealerships like us. And of course, we're happy to get this uh, big Duramax. Obviously, the people who own this one, they're doing a little bit different of a lifestyle change, uh, going from this big one-ton diesel truck to a, a EV. I don't know what they bought. I know the Cybertruck's not out yet, so they could have bought anything. Maybe they traded in for a Plaid or something like that. Who knows? And with four doors, this thing just has amazing amounts of interior space. I'm six foot two. I had that front seat adjusted for my height. We also have rear heated outbound seats. You should also be able to fold this up, too, for... Uh, more storage, maybe if you don't want to put some stuff in the bed out in the elements, you can fold that seat up and maybe store some expensive tools or guns and stuff inside uh, the rear accommodations. You can see with the AT4, you do have uh, body colored uh, moldings. It's devoid of chrome, uh, like the Denali. Uh, amazing off-road suspension. And this thing, uh, you know, this thing can take a lot of tongue weight, especially being the one ton. 
Really cool tailgate as well. I haven't completely figured it out. <laughs> it is a power tailgate, uh, but it also um, can convert into a step to get inside the bed. Um, there we go. Look at that. It's pretty high up. I'm six foot two, and I would even have a hard time getting it out of this truck. So, you know, having that uh, that uh, feature is really nice, and it's nice that it's power operated because it is a little bit heavier. And it's pretty easy to do with actually one one hand. It's not that heavy. Amazing uh, tow package. I think. Uh, it's uh, rated at about 14,000 pounds towing off the uh, receiver hitch. Obviously a lot more of a fifth wheel or gooseneck. And there you have it. And this is really amazing truck. Smooth, uh, clean burning diesel. Even having it run in here for a little bit, I really can't even smell any diesel smoke. It is really remarkable how, how far these clean diesels have come. No stinky, sooty black smoke coming out of this one. Very smooth and refined. Uh, luxury car comfort. And this is a vehicle that you could just take anywhere. Uh, absolutely amazing pickup truck. We're very, very impressed with it. And also has some amazing uh, lighting. Uh, there's lights all over this thing. So if you need to hook up a trailer, you don't need any flashlights. Basically, you can set it up. So the whole surrounding of the truck is illuminated by these LED lights. It really creates a cool ambient effect. And we're out, when you're out there, you know, in a dark area, having to hook up a trailer or working or anything like that, it really is a cool feature. I can't go on about how awesome this truck is. Come in and check it out for yourself. I think you'll absolutely fall in love with it. We have. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.